In Tanzania, there are an estimated 2.3 million domestic dogs. Many of them are free roaming or stray, which puts communities at a high risk of rabies and other transmissible diseases. Rabies deaths in Tanzania, approximately 1,500 deaths per year. People are often scared of dogs because of the threats they possess. This creates hostility between dogs and people. Dogs have adapted to navigate their environment for resources at night when they are less likely to be confronted by humans. Unlike livestock and other domestic animals, dogs are overly abundant but considered to be of low economic value. People in rural communities often live in a degree of poverty that is difficult for many to comprehend. They often don't have the economic means to care for the dog. The dog is faced to fend for itself. Although the need for veterinary service is very high, the job market in Tanzania has not caught up. Many veterinarians rely on employment from the government to make ends meet and many veterinary graduates remain jobless. With a shortage of veterinary services, dog populations and rabies cases propagate. Instead of investing in access to veterinary care, governments have resorted to inhumane shooting and poisoning of dogs to control the problem. Unfortunately, this extreme tactic has proven to be ineffective. In the community of Kibaigua, a woman presents her dog for basic veterinary services. For her, it is personal. She loves her dog and wants to ensure her dog is protected against preventable diseases, including rabies. She also misses her three children. She lost the three of them to rabies. Unaware of the consequences, the treatments were delayed. They died one after another. Kwa kibaigwa tuna maumbwa mengi yanazurula. Siku moja tumeondoka kwenda shamba mimi na ndugu yangu. Tunaporudi tukakuta watoto watatu wote wana majeraha ya umba ni makubwa. Baada ya kuwa na majeraha ya umba tukawabeba tukawapeleka hospitali. Kwenda hospitali wakasema dawa hawana. Kwa hiyo tunawalufaa muende Dodoma ndio kuna dawa za umba. Tuliwaangalia uwezo wa tuna kama kula yetu inakuwa shida twende tukatibiwe Dodoma hatuwezi. Tukawa tunawatibu tu kama na dawa za kawaida vidonge. Baada ya siku chache watoto wakaanza kufanya bwa bwa ha mwingine wamezidiwa kafa wa kwanza. Wa pili paka watatu wote watoto wale wakawa wamekufa na umbwa jamani umbwa umetuletea shida hapa kwetu kibaigwa tuna shida ya maumbo. It doesn't have to be this way. In partnership with the Tanzania Animal Welfare Society and Organization for Creative Impact, IVO, conducted a two-week dog health and welfare training program for approximately 40 Tanzanian veterinary professionals at the Visele Training Center and Sokoine University of Agriculture. Para-veterinary students from Visele, who typically work with livestock, were given the opportunity to work in a new capacity to help dogs. Students were trained in preventative medicine, parasitology, immunology, and animal welfare. They were initially scared to work with dogs, but after a few days, their attitude had changed. Veterinary students from Sokoina University of Agriculture were exposed to anesthesiology training and new surgical techniques that can increase surgeons' efficiency and capacity to more quickly perform spay and neuter surgeries. In an effort to train the students, the communities benefited too. Mass vaccination against rabies and distemper keep dogs healthy and prevent unnecessary suffering. Additionally, mass parasite prevention treatments reduce burden on animals and keep communities healthy. This One Health approach recognizes that animal health and human health are interconnected and focuses to optimize the best outcome for all parties. 
After being exposed to working with a local NGO, Tanzania Animal Welfare Society, veterinary students showed interest in volunteering in the future as they acquired new skills and remained optimistic about a new career path. My name is Aprona from Sokoini University of Agriculture and I'm pursuing a Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine. Well, working with the International Veterinary Outreach Program, it has been of great importance and of a, a great advantage as a student. One, because I've been assessed with different surgical techniques that have um, a great impact as when I go back to school I'll be able to share the new knowledge with my friends, with also the classmates but also the teachers. I'm also glad that through this organization and program we have been able to, um, to see new instruments that are used in surgical operations. We've known well on how to assess uh, the physical examination for animals, providing vaccination to different animals, but also we've been able to treat different conditions that have succumbed with the animals at Kibaigua. My name is Dr. Thomas Kaema, the Executive Director of Tanzania Animal Welfare Society. We have um, uh, this dog welfare program in the Central Tanzania. This program has started with the uh, Sokoina University of Agriculture with uh, fine air students. And uh, uh, they are here with us, and we are again more knowledge on the modern techniques of um, sterilizations. And we think with the support from Ivo, I think we can reach more areas. The demand is very high. We still have so many animals being brought for spay in the neuter, but we, and so many animals are being brought for the vaccination. So the demand is very, very, very high. So this program needs to be very sustainable. I think uh, Ivo and the Sua and the Taweso will work out together, see this program is reaching maybe countrywide to, in order to, con to, to improve the welfare of dogs and some cats as well, but also uh, to control rabies. So if we control rabies, I think uh, even the way of the animals will be very perfect. And if we control the, we use the humane ways like uh, with the sterilization we are doing, uh, it's most likely that even the way of the dogs and the, the people will be very good. This pilot program is just the beginning. The beginning of the end and a new hope for the communities and kids living among dogs. We must trade in the bullets that have historically killed dogs in the streets. We must invest in veterinarians and increase access to basic veterinary care to vaccinate, humanly prevent dog overpopulation, and keep our communities safe. There is hope and there is a solution. Join us.